Hello, this is Chris with PixelFreak.com. Today we're taking a look at this new find I have called Alpha Wave. So this one was brought up to me by the developer of the game. Um, he wanted me to take a look and see what I thought. I liked it a lot, thought I'd share it with everybody. Um, this one's a little bit simpler than some of the other finds that I've had recently. It's still a really good game. Um, interestingly enough, it's actually a shooter game, as you can see. It's kind of a Asteroids meets Space Invaders type of game. Um, but it, what's, what's really interesting about this is that I've had so many of these finds now that keep turning up as these shooter games. Uh, they're all really good, but maybe there's something about a, a nostalgia thing or, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're easier to do and so teams of smaller people can... Um, of fewer people, actually smaller people. Teams of fewer people can can crank these games out a little better. Um, but you should notice some of the really interesting things about this game is the, the 3D rendering on all the different sprites and different models is really good. Um, the, all the asteroids look really good. The background, though it's not really a 3D background, kind of looks like a 3D background. It's pretty good, pretty good, uh, rendered pretty well. So the object of this game is to just blow shit up. That's what it is. You're trying to blow everything up. You can see I just waved up. Um, I'm on wave two now. There are different power-ups as well. But the idea is just break stuff until you level up. And you keep leveling up and your score goes up until you die. Oop, that's a weapon. Do I get it? Yes. Weapon upgrade. So yeah, so the goal is, there's there's three different difficulties of the game. The goal is to just get the highest score of all. And the interesting thing is, there's different power-ups, but there's also power-downs. Like that, for instance, that's a speed-down power-down. power, power down. Not a speed-down power-up, it's a speed-down power-down. Uh, and that, right there, was aptly described as the shitty weapon. Marked as such as a pile of crap. So, to control the game, oh, we just got a power down. To control the game, you hit the left and right buttons, as you can see on the screen. There's one for left, one for right. Hitting them will make you go in that direction. There are no alternate control schemes, which for me kind of was uh, unfortunate, but it works. What 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 the developer has made in the game really works well and so I don't think anybody's gonna feel cheated. Ooh, did I get the shitty? Oh, that is a pile of poo. And as you can see too, the game's starting to throw different enemies at me as well. As you level up through the game, you're gonna get introduced into new guns and new enemies. Aside from the left and right mechanics, you also have uh, access to the bombs, which are on the left hand side, which if I were to use that, it'll recharge uh, over the course of maybe about 10 or 15 seconds and then you can only use it that often there we go I just used one so now it's recharging maybe it takes as little as five so there you go it's probably about 10 seconds it looks like it's about 10 seconds it's almost charged now and on the right hand side you can also see there it is and the right hand side you can also see that I have a charged up gun now this will that'll allow me to fire off and my gun will just go balls crazy and just like start firing like crazy. The, the awesome thing about the, the gun thing is, is that it changes per gun. So it's this limited time fire that only works for about five seconds through the game. And there we go, and there it goes. <laughs> awesome, wait time, Chris. Uh, you haven't caught on yet? I actually recorded this not live. I, I played through the game and then decided to do a voice over because this game does require a little bit of concentration and I probably would have just had massive fail if I was trying to concentrate on the game and talk at the same time. So anyways, the cool thing is, is that each gun has its own graphic and its own really cool super weapon that you can do when that thing's powered up. And that thing powers up every time that you get the same weapon that you have. Thus far in the game, I've only gotten the exact same weapon. Here's the second weapon of the game. It's a pulse thing, buckshot. You can see I have the super of that right now because I it, it carries over if you had a super of the other gun when you change guns. So if I were to super this gun, it turns into a whole new graphic and it just like starts firing all over the screen. It's pretty cool. There's a third gun as well that I've I've seen. I haven't seen any guns beyond that. I've only been to about wave 35. There may be more guns, but not that I've seen. 
But the variability in enemies and obstacles that you're given is it does change quite a bit. I'm not sure how deep that rabbit hole goes, but I know that as long as I've played through level 35, I kept feeling like I found new enemies over and over and over again. So it got, I, when I played on easy, I, 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 I must have gotten around 35 or 40. But anyways, there was new enemies all the way down and it got more and more difficult. So here's the super of that gun. Fires about three times, four times. And then you can see on the right hand side now it's not charged up anymore. And once I grab this, it's charged again. Got some crazy comets coming here. I think this is about where the third gun comes in. It's in here somewhere. So it gets really interesting where you get like all these comets and then you get enemies shooting at you at the same time and then there's these little orbs that, here's the orbs that like, they get real close to you and then if they get too close they like run away and then they fire at you. You'll see that here in a second. They're a really interesting enemy. I really like them. See, that one started to back up. He was about to fire and I killed him anyways. And so here's the third gun. I can't think of what this one's called, but it's the Vulcan Cannon. It's pretty effective. The supercharge of that is actually pretty fun. One interesting thing is the shields, if you were to pick up a shield and you already had full, if you had 100%, it'll actually give you an additional 20, but it slowly degenerates, as if your shield was kind of overcharged. Right, this one. See, they do this really weird thing where they like they come at you, then they like run away and then shoot. It's actually pretty cool. It makes it more hectic when there's a lot of things on the screen. So there's the supercharge of it. Pretty extreme, pretty extreme. All right, so we also have this stats page. I mean, f f so f so far there's only really the one level. You, there is another level coming out pretty soon, but this is the stats, pa pa stats page here. It shows you your best score, low score, and last score for every difficulty. On easy, I've only played it once. Normal, I've played it a couple times now, uh, and hard, I haven't played it yet. The game's difficulty doesn't seem to change too much. In the options, there is some graphics. I haven't noticed a lot of difference between the high-end graphics and the low-end graphics. Let's see if we can see any differences. Oh, I guess there's an additional background layer here. Before there was only, uh, I think, two or three. Now there's three or four. I'm seeing four. But aside from that, I, I'm not seeing a lot of a lot of bigger changes in the graphics. So anyways, that's Alpha Wave. Uh, I encourage you to go check it out. It's it's actually a pretty good game. It's on the Google Play Store and in the video description, there will be a link. And if you're on pixelfreak.com right now watching this, there's a link in the article. Until next time, this has been Chris with pixelfreak.com.